Well, hello and welcome to the shop here at the H.R. McMillan Space Center. Very rare occasion that we get to come up here, but it's because Reminder and I are going to be making some spacey stuff. And the spacey stuff we're going to be making today would be a... Comet. A comet. Now, this is something that people can actually watch for uh, this summer and every summer. Uh, the Perseid meteor shower, which is a, a brilliant meteor shower that's visible in early August. But what exactly is a comet? What am I seeing uh, uh, with this meteor shower? Reminder has agreed to uh, make one for us out of some household ingredients and stuff. Yeah, so what do we got? So comets are essentially dirty snowballs. Comets also have a lot of uh, ice on them and uh, water. Mmm, that looks uh, like mud now. Additionally, comets also have a bit of organic compounds on them. Okay. So we know that there's some organic compounds in something like corn oil. Sure. Uh, anything else we need? We need some carbon dioxide ice. Carbon dioxide ice, and where would that be? In dry ice. Dry ice, which is what I have in uh, this cooler here, right? So we pop this, oh geez, pop this open, and uh, got some stuff in here. Oh, it's my drink, it's really nice and cold. That's lovely, but that's not what we're doing right now. Um, we need a little bit of this uh, dry ice particle, which is, again, it's very, very cold, so should I put in a few pieces here? There. Really starting to bubble up, isn't it? What? All right, pretty good? No, it's not a whole No, okay. Well, let's just dump all that in there, there, like so. So what is all the stuff coming off of the dry ice? It's, it's, it's carbon dioxide. Carbon gas. dioxide. So carbon dioxide does not uh, have a liquid form okay. at, um, at this uh, pressure here. It actually sublimates. It goes directly from a liquid to a gas. Okay. Let's uh, pull some of these out here and have a look at uh, what we've got. There's a, there's a good one right there. So, so tell me, so what exactly are we looking at here? This is uh, pretty much a comet? Pretty much. It's yeah. a dirty snowball. A dirty snowball. So you got hit with one of these, you'd really feel that, wouldn't you? Yeah. Yeah. Um, so you can notice a few things. Uh, there's a bit of gas that's evaporating off the top off of them. That is something that is uh, similar to what happens when a comet actually approaches the sun. Right. When this, the Tuttle comet, right, the yeah. uh, uh, which is one we've been looking for in, in August, when it passes by, little bits of it are, are breaking off, and that's the meteor shower so that we're, it, we're seeing. So the Earth actually passes through its tail, okay. and the tail is just bits of it that are f evaporating and falling off as it goes around the sun. And then those bits uh, hit our atmosphere and we get to see that brilliant light show. Just check at the H.R. McMillan website for uh, uh, good spots to, uh, to observe those. But um, otherwise, I think this is a very successful uh, operation. We made a comet uh, all by ourselves here up in our shop. Thank you very much for that. For The Express, I'm Cam Cronin here at the H.R. McMillan Space Center. I'm Raminder Samra. And uh, don't eat these, that's all I'm saying. Thank you.